um, like backseat gaming for me isn't so much that it's like, okay, annoying. It's just that like you have to understand everybody has a different uh, way of doing things when it comes to playing a game or just doing anything in general. So it's like not everybody's always going to have the same mindset or want to do the same thing that you want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is a pretty easy shrine. I just need to concentrate what I'm doing so because it uses yeah. yeah the gyro. And then this one. Will you just run? Kind of, yeah. And then turn around and shoot the thing so that it doesn't kill you halfway? Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. And you're not going to have the time to do it again unless you yeah, shoot it. Yeah, you just it. shoot it. And luckily, I have enough arrows to sh uh, shoot it again. No boomerang in this game. There are boomerangs. I mean, as weapons, but and like, I'm, I'm not, not going to bother that you with can, the, um, um, just have as an item. The chest there, because you have to shoot it again and get the timing right on it. No, there, there are no items in this game is the problem. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, because bombs are are one of your uh, okay, and this is like rooms. fucking palinko or whatever. Pachinko. Sorta. Of? Kind. I of. remember seeing this one. Yeah, so you're you're trying to get like this. There you go. Boom, one try. <laughs> Worked out pretty well. Um, yeah. Well, I've also done some of these shrines at least twice. Uh, because of the Switch version, and then I just recently did everything on my own run. Do you think there should be, like, an etiquette to playing games, like, almost? Yeah, I would think so. But I think... And, and here's the thing, too, like... Everyone complains... I'll use Rain Man as an example of him being toxic. Uh -huh. But he's toxic on stream. Which is basically him vocalizing his thoughts. He's not really toxic in chat. Oh or yeah, see, like I have that. a, I have. That's what I think. And um, people have too much problem with that. They, they vocalize like, it to their team and everything. We come from a, uh, and the same background. He's talked about this too. Why he's toxic on stream and not to the people in the game. He's a, he played sports growing up mm -hmm. like we did. You know, he he did sports in high school. And we we did sports ever since we were little kids and then right. through high school. You have this sportsmanship mentality. Like, you can be toxic inside your head all you want. You just don't verbalize it to other people. Yeah, it's not like and you say good game afterwards. You shake the hands, you line up and everything no matter what. And I, I'm afraid most gamers, especially because a lot of people aren't athletic, there's more and more gamers now, but traditionally, gamers tend to be people without athletic ability. They, they tend to be more nerdy For the most part, and yeah. stuff like that. Not to say that you can't be athletic and nerdy at the same time, just oh, yeah. I'm going with the averages. Most people are specialized, they're not good at everything. That's how you tell the difference between knowledge and intelligence. Specialized people are knowledgeable, intelligent people can bring it across the board. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a psychological term for that, don't try to argue with me on that. That, that is what that means. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, most people don't have that background of good sportsmanship when they play video mm -hmm. games because they don't come from a sportsmanship background like we do. And I think because they don't take it over from one area to the other, there's no etiquette. They, they never learned the etiquette that they were supposed to. And I think parenting has a lot to do with that too. Like there are some people that just had really good parents, so they're just nice people and, and they have a form of general etiquette. Mm -hmm. But definitely in uh, what I'm translating is less to do with solo games and more to do with... Um, multiplayer, yeah, because... Competitive multiplayer. Solo, um, it's like you can rage at a game. Yeah. And it, it's funny because if you rage at a solo game, it's considered to be funny. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no harm being done to anybody but you just getting mad. You yeah. know what I mean? There's, there's nobody you're getting mad at. You're not hurting anybody's feelings. You know, whereas uh, multiplayer games, it's like, like you, there's no respect for the people uh, that you're playing. With. You're playing against, with, or, or with. with, or with yeah, either side. Yeah, I think because even if you're way. being toxic to the team against you, you're still disrespecting your team. Yeah, well, that's something. It makes a lot your of team look like get. a fucking bunch of assholes. I want to go this way. Yeah, you're gonna get up on that little piece out there. Climb mm -hmm. over. And once we get this tower, it'll be easy too. I, ooh, I don't know if we can get into that one yet. What in this place? No, to the labyrinth. Uh, we're gonna have to check. Uh, I might be able to finagle it. 
and use the cryonis to get over because it's on an island so i don't know if we have the uh, oh yeah that's right we need the um little raft right yeah or we could try to make something or ice our way over. well because it, it's raised up too that's the oh thing. you can't use the ice. so you can use the ice but i don't know if we have enough to climb up that oh we could okay. probably make something like a, a field treat or something or maybe even buy one i don't know if somebody nearby will have one a what like a, a field snack oh okay like a like a nature bar help us help us climb faster. It'll whatever. give you um, more stamina. It'll it gives you that little extra little extra ring, yeah. or it'll fill up your stamina. Some of them. It, it depends what you're making. Can I stand on this? Yeah, I can. Okay. And uh, if we we have something that can refill our stamina halfway, we could just fly there, and then we can climb up from the edge like I wanted to before that other guardian can see us. Because there's a guardian right in the uh, middle, but he's a little bit in, so you actually have to enter the um, labyrinth itself, like walk into it before it sees you. You can stand in the entrance and be fine. And there's also ones at the top, but honestly, you don't have to pass them at all to get to where you need yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make it up here the way that I I think I it. definitely um, climbed this tower the first time. You're not going to make it. Oh my god, what was that? That was me being a what, boss. What, what was that leap even? <laughs> he like jumped and then like everything slowed down for yeah. a moment. He like didn't even make it onto the fucking ledge either. He jumped yeah. above it and was like, nah, just gonna land. It was just me being a boss, man. Okay, so this is dangerous place. Because there are a lot of enemies in here. And I don't have my Sheikah outfit. Cause I just remember trying to, to climb this thing and getting fucking uh, a bunch of targets being put on me. What do you mean? There's there's people who will laser you over here. Oh, there pretty are guardians, sure. yeah. Or I might be thinking of Hyrule Castle because... Hyrule Castle is like that, yeah. This is the Akala Fortress. I'm kind of sad about my first... Um, attempt? My of... first attempt of uh, going to fight Ganon because even though we won, it's like we got to Ganon really fast on accident. Like, yeah. I, I made a beeline to Ganon. Oh, fuck. I did not want this. I did not want no. this. Sometimes Link just won't jump. And yeah, I and you just have to be over dramatic when you start taking yeah. damage. No, like, we accidentally, or I guess I accidentally made a beeline right to Ganon without knowing. There we go. Like, we went up the waterfalls, went right to where his room was, and I was like, this looks like there's going to be a fight here. And it was Ganon. Would have been cool if there was a mini boss, but Okay, hey, uh, I need to get around to that side. Well, I guess there is a mini boss in uh, Hyrule Castle. The, the, uh, there's the Stalnox. Well, though, there's a couple. There's also the hardest um, Lionel in the game. Oh, really? What what's he look like? He's a Lionel. I mean, yeah, I know there's different colors on that's all. He's like um, the white one. He's like blue with like a tannish mane or something like that. Oh shit! Nope, 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 nope. He knows I'm here now. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. Why did that freeze you? Do we have any food? Food? <sighs> yeah, sure. We'll take Fuck this. Fuck it. Up here. Because I need to get over to that. And this guy doesn't know I'm here. Now he does. Even if he does, he's not going to do shit to you. He doesn't have any projectiles. He so. throw rocks at me. In okay. Yeah. Oh, what a dick. Come on, Link, don't be a bitch. I know, he just wouldn't climb up that fucking side for some reason. You know, I'll fight this guy, because this yeah, he's guy's a chump. He's a chump. You can beat him. He looks like he wants to be beat up. Oh, fuck. Holy fuck, yeah, he's I, not I, that, a chump. He's not a chump. That was my own fault. Just I, eat two bacon apples, you're good. Tough pumpkin skin. That'll give me a uh, boost. Dude, it took Link a long time to eat that one. Uh, yeah. Actually, do I have something with more resistance than this? Oh. Barbarian legs. Yeah. And chest. Uh oh, it's time to get fucking silly. Ka bam! If you could just knock him off, oh, if go. you could just knock him off, good. you're good. That's all I needed. Yeah. Oh, you're fucking, uh, actually, I, I needed the cold resist. Yeah, he's getting chilly, man. You're a fucking <laughs> barbarian, bro. I am. Okay, so I have to. Um, yeah, yeah, I see what you have to do here. Finagle this. You just have to kind of. <laughs> I've done this before. Do some bullshit here. Come on, Link. You know good and well you would not be climbing like that. Oh. Hey, you made it. You're gonna die. Yeah, it's taking damage. So right. this is you hard. Be... You just fly over. You're good. Just jump and fly. Because sometimes Link doesn't want to jump. That's why. Yeah, I know. And then hard. you fall. It's ridiculous. That's every platformer ever. You get next to the edge, go to hit the jump button, and he just runs off. Yeah. Okay, so now we're good. We're gonna we're getting up here. An hour into our our stream. 
I'm kind of glad that the um, right, yeah, 53 minutes. that the craze of putting bullshit in video games is over. And when I mean bullshit, I mean like um, bullshit like the unfair platformer, like that Flash game. Oh yeah, that. yeah. And that kind of started a thing where all these games were just putting random. Like, we were just random. we were trying to be the hardest game. Yeah, yeah. Like where it's you couldn't see it coming, and you just yeah. have to memorize it's there from. Uh, Running into it. I will say, this game does fuck you at times, though. Oh, yeah. It's not like, I want to be the guy level. Yeah. But you know what? You feel accomplished when that you do stuff game. in this game. Like, I, mean, I, I don't know about other people. When I did play Dark Souls, I didn't feel accomplished for doing anything at all. Like, it just felt like I was no, doing the game. It, there's no uh, reward or anything. It's like, yeah. you did it. Victory. Like, you progress. You, there are, like, leveling and stuff. Yeah, like but that, it's but... like, you just victory. Yeah. Okay, cool. This game, like... Something nice fucks you up early on, and, and then you go back and you fight it yeah. again, and you're you, like, well, yeah. you win, and you get a little cutscene, you get a little story piece. It's like Dark Souls is like, all right, keep going. Oh yeah, if you want to find out the lore, you gotta like find items, read everything, piece it together, or go onto a wiki of somebody who's already done it. Which you shouldn't have to do. You yeah. should never have to go to a wiki for lore. You should be able to find that shit in the game. Yeah. Unless it's well, some you can sort of... find the shit in the game. Yeah. It's all in the game. Well, but it's so cryptic that like you have to f go to either figure it out yourself and spend. Hours upon hours doing it, which I don't find fun, or find somebody who already did it. Dark Souls like got popular purely based off of, um, like one getting your ass whooped and two fucking just exploring, which you can yeah. do in a lot of open world games. Yeah, any open world game, you know. But it's very similar to this game. Um, I, I would say the original Zelda had like uh, the not original original 3D Zelda. Ocarina of Time. This is more like the original, where you could go anywhere, but Ocarina of Time, the original 3D Zelda, um, was very Metroidvania-esque, where it was this huge world to explore, but everything was locked off until you had certain abilities, while Dark Souls is more like this game and the original Zelda, which Dark Souls, they've even admitted they took a lot of inspiration from the very first Zelda, and a lot of games have. It was like, like don't the, get me wrong, the apex of adventuring games. I think Dark Souls is a good game. I think it's yeah. a good game. But I think the game... But you could just... The, thing, the best thing about this game is you can go anywhere at any time. Yeah. Of course. And they designed it like yeah. that purposely. But, like, Dark Souls does not get the... Uh, the past. The criticism that it deserves. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, like, no, it does. It does. Just the community tries to push it down. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Dark Souls community is very... Toxic. But, um, which, which... They're like, not rude. They're just, like toxic in a way that their game is superior to everything yeah. else. Even though it's not that hard. The computing makes it out harder to be than it is. Right, once you... Well, I mean, I'll, I'll admit... There, no, there's a Keaton in the middle of that. No, that's not how that works. Um, Rock, rock. Looking for rock. Oh, to place in the middle for the core rock? Yeah. Oh, uh, never mind. Sorry. You can pass on that guy. We've got uh, better things to do. I'm trying to get to the shrine anyway. I forgot what I was saying now uh, about Dark Souls. Can I make that? Yeah, I can make that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'll admit, I'm I'm trash at Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. It's because I haven't put the time into it, but, like, once you understand how to play the game, how the parrying works, how the dodging works, and how the actual fighting works, and yeah. how you need to do it, it's an if easy you game. play patient, the game's not as hard as as it like it's made out to seem. Because I know there's a lot of times where you'll turn a corner and there'll be an enemy, but... Or a trap or something, yeah, but, but that's you, all memorized. But if you though. play patiently and, like, extra careful which i as a gamer myself i don't do that i like <laughs> to be played too many games yeah i like to run in and fucking go ham which most people do but like if you just play safe and careful and you look around but see, that, that's probably why i was unimpressed okay. with the game because if you look at me playing this game that's i play, play safe yeah, by yeah, default exactly. I, i've always played whereas safe whenever i get the control i'm like let's fight all the enemies yeah <laughs> so it's a game that just doesn't really benefit um uh, or I, I don't. It's not that it doesn't benefit. It actually benefits my play style, but it doesn't impress me because it's already the way I play. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, I don't believe I have any bomb arrows. I'll tell you what. I am excited so. to play though. Is fucking arms. I want that game. Yeah, arms is exciting as shit. So I need to take this thing. Probably won't get a switch till like midsummer. Which is actually not that far from now. It'll probably be July. When um, Link? Out, Link? He didn't stop it. He didn't. I know, I saw that. I, I was like mid-conversation. I, I wanted to say something, but... Fuck, man, that was retarded. I know. He literally just looked at it. I was like, Nyeh. Go. 
That was so late! I know! That was so late! Okay. It was already off the thing! So actually, there there's a chest uh, up there. What do you just use it to push but it? But there's I need to get another chest. Wait, what are you doing now? You're just Oh, you're going to the chest backwards. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you would get pushed off the edge there's if there's a rock yeah. Yeah. there, see. And so I stopped that thing from hitting me. Shouldn't it still be rolling? Like, no, no, it, it stopped. Oh, it hit edge. the edge, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you need to go here if you don't have bombs and use this to uh, break where the <laughs> chest is. That's funny. Yeah. Chest? So you could just do that. You could just. I think the chest place. just fell into the lava. Uh. Yeah. Um. Oh, well. Who didn't think about that before that was designed? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, what if the chest falls in the lava? Ah, it's fine. They'll be okay. It was only a sword anyway. It was a sword you couldn't get. Yeah, but, like, I'll have to come back in here and do it again. Just to see what it was. Well, no, if you wanted to 100% complete it, you have to get every chest in every shrine. Oh, do you really? Yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah. I think there's a uh, chest back where this was. Has too. this game been 100% yet? Like, has anybody done that? I know uh, the completion is tried. I don't think he did, though. I think he got close. Since I didn't get the first chest, I'm not, I'm not even worried about this other one, too. So now you just walk up and you have this um, this big fucking golden shield. horse apple. This shield that looks like a brain. It looks like uh, a horse apple. That fucking just push all these other rocks back. So you can be up here. See, there's another chest right there. Yeah. But um, this trial really rocks, man. Yeah, I, I could I could say. It was a magnetic chest, but it doesn't matter because once something goes into the lava, it's it's gone. Yeah, it's fucking disintegrates, melts. It, it is magma. It's like. Molten rock, so if you're hot enough to turn rock into liquid. Mm -hmm. So, effectively, right now, not effectively, but that's a bad word to use. Yeah. We have two more hearts. Two more hearts. Yeah. 